These are the Samsung Level Over. They're really Samsung's first serious take at a high-end headphone. They're loaded with features, Bluetooth, noise canceling, and there's some other tricks too. Right out of the box, I like the way Samsung styled these headphones. Uh, they do have the name of the headphone up top and they'll place their logo on each side. Otherwise, it's a really clean look. There's a white pair as we have here and a black pair. I like the real thin strips of chromed plastic that they've got here. Just generally a nice, tidy looking pair of headphones. It might seem like a little thing, but I really like the way that Samsung printed a huge L and R inside the ear cups to let you know which is which. And then when you put them on, they feel comfortable. Um, not a lot of clamping force, some impressive passive noise isolation, plenty of padding up top, uh, and they make a really good seal. So probably gonna get some ear sweats, but that's just like any other full-size headphone. For buttons and switches, you're not gonna find much. There's a uh, power switch here. This will turn the headphones on and activate uh, the Bluetooth chip or the active noise canceling. A uh, little LED indicator lets you know what's happening there. You'll find down below, the active noise canceling and Bluetooth pairing switch. And then uh, further down below that is where you can add the optional headphone cable. You might notice some tiny pinhole openings um, here on one side of the uh, right ear cup. And then if we flip it over, we'll see another couple. Uh, some of these are microphones for the active noise cancellation. Some of them are for hands-free phone conversations. On the outside of the ear cup are a couple of surprises. Now you can't see anything here, but you can actually swipe up to increase volume, swipe down to bring the volume down, uh, track forward, track back. If you press and hold, you can pause your song and then press and hold will play it again. Now that only works if you're connected via Bluetooth. You add the headphone cable and that functionality goes away. You can also use that to uh, call up Siri if you have an iOS device. Um, if you have another kind of mobile phone and it happens to be NFC enabled, there's an NFC chip right here for instant Bluetooth pairing. So far, I've been really impressed with these headphones. First of all, the 15 hour battery life should get you through almost any long haul travel you've got to do. The noise cancellation so far sounds really solid. I'm looking forward to comparing it to some comparable headphones, but the sound quality is what shocks me the most. I've never really thought of Samsung as a super high end audio brand, but these deliver a really balanced sound and surprise again, not heavy handed on bass. So far, they're looking like a winner. At 350 bucks, they're right up there with their competition, but they're seriously competitive.